Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So today I'm going to speak to you about emotions. And I thought I'd done a podcast on this quite a long time ago, but I was looking for it to share it recently and I couldn't find it. So I'm assuming that I might have talked about it inadvertently amongst something else, but I haven't actually dedicated a podcast to it. So that's what I'm going to do today. And the reason I'm doing that is because emotions, they buffet us around in life. Some people I've met, um, especially those working in the corporate lifestyle, have learned to switch their emotions off. But I think that that is just as detrimental as allowing emotions to rule your life. Because emotions are only really there as feedback. They're there to let us know what, how we're experiencing the external world, whether it's taking us towards something that's pleasurable or towards something that's painful. They're there to warn us off against things that are likely to cause us harm or to threaten our lives or threaten our livelihoods. Um, they're also there to allow us to realise when we are doing something that's really wonderful for us, when we're with people we care about. Emotions uh, give colour to life. Without emotions, life is very flat and very boring. But if we allow ourselves to react to emotions constantly and all the time, then what we find is that we're at the mercy of our subconscious and of, of the external world. And it is possible to cultivate emotions, for us to choose emotions that we want to feel. And um, I do that in many ways, one of which is the gratitude practice that I have. Um, and I've actually got a Facebook group that I started that specifically focuses on gratitude. Um, another is through appreciation. Um, another is actually choosing to amplify certain experiences that I have, positive ones, and fully stepping into the experience of them. But I'm sharing this because emotions are not there. We're not meant to be chasing emotions. Um, I know a lot of people chase happiness and it's something that um, whole businesses have been created around is, you know, the, the experience of happiness and how to be happy. But happiness is an emotion. It's something that isn't meant to last. It's feedback from our surroundings telling us what works or doesn't work for us. And emotions by their very nature are transient. They don't last more than a little while. And if we try to live our lives by chasing them, then it's like trying to, trying to catch a cloud. <laughs> They'll constantly be slightly just out of reach. I'm sharing this so that you understand what emotions truly are. Um, and part of that is, um, I mean, I've just talked about happiness, but some of the emotions that we experience aren't always positive emotions. Some of them are very strong negative emotions. And when we experience those negative emotions, they can cause us to react and to do things or say things that can be very hurtful to others. But when we realize that all it is is feedback from our external environment, um, we can acknowledge the emotion, um, accept it for what it is, that it's just feedback, and then make different choices on how we choose to act rather than react to what we're experiencing in that moment. And the same goes for um, positive emotions as well. The very name emotion is sort of to emote and to cause action. And, and that's really their whole purpose. Um, our subconscious uses a number of, a sequence of um, experiences that we experience as humans to cause us to create our reality. And that sequence is thought, emotion and action. And as I said, emote means to cause action. So our actions come from what we're experiencing, our emotions. And when this is driven by the subconscious, it, is, it leaves us vulnerable to being influenced by beliefs, by past hurts and pains, by desires. And it doesn't mean that we're actually choosing to act in our highest good, to, to choose to act in a way to create the life that we really want to lead. We're, we're basically being victims of our own subconscious mind. What I hope to share with you from this particular episode is that emotions are not something that we should be pursuing. They're beautiful and wonderful in their many varied and wonderful states, and, and we can transform them into other things. But I think that a lot of us, when we seek happiness, and um, a lot of us find that we can get temporary happiness from buying things, from experiencing certain things, from um, acquiring certain things or achieving certain things. I think in regards to happiness, what we're actually really searching for is fulfillment. 
And fulfillment is not actually, you don't achieve fulfillment from receiving something, from getting something, from um, getting an external need met. Fulfillment comes from a much deeper place, and it's actually from finding your place in this world and from giving value. And, and there's no deeper sense of fulfillment than feeling like you have added value to someone else's life, to the world, to a profession, to something else. And that sense of fulfillment lasts so much longer than the fleeting experience of happiness. Um, for instance, if I asked you to think back on, I don't know, three or four Christmases ago and remember what gifts you were given, um, if you received something nice, you most likely did feel incredibly happy at that particular moment. But a number of years down the line, it can be quite hard to think back and even remember what it was that you received that made you happy. But if you were to think back on a time when you made a difference in somebody else's life, no doubt that memory will never fade. And the sense of warmth and the glow inside of you and the, the feeling of fulfillment will last your entire lifetime. So I suppose I just wanted to have ended up sharing more than I suppose I started intending to share when I started this episode. Um, but I hope that it's, it helps you to see that emotions aren't something that we should be chasing in life. They're something that we should accept that they happen, they happen to all of us, um, that they are elicited through external stimulus, through either getting or taking, or um, even drugs and alcohol and things like that can change how you feel. A beautiful sunset, um, an accident, nasty words, you know, these are all things that happen outside of us, and we're not in control of those things, and we shouldn't ever really hope to be. But if we want to feel good inside of us, then it's fruitless trying to chase an emotion. What we actually need to be trying to do is to figure out what we have to offer the world, what our value is, what, what we want our life to be about, and to try and achieve fulfillment rather than chase happiness. Emotions are meant to be a navigational tool for us to help navigate the world. They were never meant to be us, our reason for living, the thing that we were living for, the thing we were trying to capture and um, tame and hold on to. And the sooner that we can see this, <laughs> the happier and more accepting of life that we'll actually be. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you want to find out about my coaching or the online courses that I've created, then the links to my social media and my website are down below. Um, if you've enjoyed this particular episode or any of the episodes you've listened to before, then please subscribe so that you don't miss one. And I will see you again next week.